Thank you for joining me today for this tutorial on TaxBuzz AI. Um, one of the things I've been noticing as we analyze how tax professionals are using TaxBuzz AI is there's a lot to be learned on how to write a prompt. And what a prompt is, is basically the instructions you're giving the AI tool in order for it to give you a, a better, more accurate, concise answer and more of what your intent is. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples of some things that people are doing that won't give you a great um, end result, but with a little tweak, you can get there. So let's just say um, I see often someone just writes, you know, 529 plan, for example. Well, that's great. It's probably going to give you a definition of what a 529 plan, but I don't think most tax professionals are looking for that, right? So the next option is, okay, what is a 529 plan? Well, that will give you a little more detail because now you're at least asking it exactly what you want. But are you really going to get an answer that is the kind of detail that you want to write? So I'm going to give you some tips on how to add context to this. And let's just go ahead and do an experiment. We'll do what is a 529 plan and let TaxBuzz AI analyze this and come back with an answer. And here we go. Now TaxBuzz AI is answering and it's a real simple basic kind of, you know, answer for it. And then there's a couple of different references that you can look at to just verify where this information comes from. So now let's give you a couple of different use cases on ways that you can change and get much more out of it. So let's say you actually want to write a blog article about 529 plans. So let's tell it exactly what you want. Could you write me a blog article about 529 plans? And then let's give it some context. I want an ad agency quality blog. I wanted to target baby boomers on the importance of 529 plans, funding their grandchildren's college saving strategies. And then I want to give it some more detail. I want you to tell me how time value, time value of money works, the options for unused 529 plans, and the ability for grandparents to participate and any other details important to baby boomer age grandparents. So let's see if adding a little more context, and I think you're going to start understanding what I mean, will get us a much better, um, more detailed response. So now you can see it comes up with a title. It addresses the target audience as a grandparents. Um, it talks in voice um, and content or topics the way they would think, right? And then it would understand um, what you asked about, okay, time value of money, flexibility and control. How can grandparents participate? Um, and then the gift of education. So, you know, there's some emotional side of this as well. So what's great is now TaxBuzz AI has created a very nice, um, blog article that you could use. And again, this is just a starting point. If you want to edit this in any ways, a lot of times it will say in conclusion, I would delete that. Uh, sometimes it uses similar words over and over again. Uh, but you'll see as you get used to the TaxBuzz AI tool that it gives you a lot of areas where you can customize it and, and edit. So think about it. If you did the research and tried to write this article on your own, it would take hours and hours of work. And now in mere moments, you're able to get a very um, high quality article written. Okay, so now let's stay on the same theme of 529 plans. And now let's look at it from um, a little strategy in an email to your client, right? So how would my client, Whitney Reams, marry with two, two children under five, use a 529 plan to save for college, write the response as an email that I can share with her. All right, so TaxBuzz AI has taken your prompts and quickly curated a nice, concise, email response to your client. I mean, think of it, the advantages you have right here and you know, the productivity gains that you can have using a tool like this for every inbound client inquiry. It's quite impressive, right? All right, so now let's talk about our templates. Uh, we do have four templates live. One is a blog post tool, similar to what I just did. Uh, I know I'm not gonna go through and show you, but it does have the ability. What's interesting here, uh, play around with the comedic side, but authoritative professional, it, it kind of gives you the ideas on how to create a tone, what description, topics, word count, um, whether or not you want it to be a list school. So this is very powerful, but we've we've introduced that before. So I'm gonna go back to the new templates. We have three new ones. One is template generation, one's client communication, one is a copy spinner. So let's start with client communication. So think about a client uh, emails you an inquiry. Um, I'm just gonna give a sample here. Um, you have a client who owns a dental practice and they want to know if they could hire their children to work for them and if there are any tax advantages, right? So what do you want to do? You want to send a letter to them. Um, any additional details? Uh, 
Um, and let's see, what are the tax benefits? Can the wages be used to fund an IRA, right? And we'll just leave it at that. And then tone option, we want to do um, optimistic, right? We're talking about, let's, uh, let's say something great. So we go here next, and tax base AI will take the inputs from the template and then start thinking and getting ready to write your response. All right, and here it goes. Subject, empowering your children while reaping tax benefits. Personalize the letter for you. Gives a couple different advantages. Here's how, shifting income, avoiding FICA taxes, business expense deductions. So it's really comprehensive in the response. Again, you can easily um, copy and paste this, make any edits that you want before you send it. It even signed it with your name, even put Courtney's name inside the strategy. And here's some references to that material. So another option here on our templates is we have the ability to either create an intake form, write a proposal, or an engagement letter. So similar, let's think this through. If we're trying to um, write a proposal, let's say it's a for a virtual CFO client, um, they are a uh, software company, and uh, you're going to charge three thousand um, dollars a month for the service. So Let's give those instructions to the tool. So what type of services are you providing? Uh, client's full name, what do we use here? We use Jane Lewis. And type of client, this is a business client. So just again, the more details you give our templates uh, and TaxBuzz AI, the better the response. Everything I'm teaching you and showing you here can be used with chat GPT or other um, AI tools. The difference is TaxBuzz is trained daily. So you're not working on, and obviously the tax code and rulings occur all the time. Um, oops, I didn't hit proposal. Let's just hit proposal here and hit next. And we'll go ahead and let it start running its uh, show. And now tax as AI will start generating its response. Again, personalizes the proposal, talks about an overview. And it can, the more data you provide, the more inputs on the modal boxes when you start the template, the more uh, details you'll get on the output. But just a general idea, this is something that we trained our tool um, on how to write different proposals. Uh, to use our tool for using TaxBuzz AI, I forgot to mention this. This little button here is clop, copy to clipboard. Um, please give us feedback if the answer was good or not, give any contents. That helps us train our model as well. Um, and, but if you do want to copy, you just copy it here and you can put it into Google Docs or whatever editor you're using. So now let's say, okay, that's great. Um, the client is signing up, but I want an intake form. So what would that look like? Um, there's two ways to do this. We could either give it a prompt to just say, hey, write me an intake form from this data, or you can use our template, which is available in that dropdown. And I'll show you that in a second. And here it goes. This is a basic intake form. I didn't give it much data. So I didn't give it that many inputs, but let's just see what it comes up with. And if you're using CountyWorks Pro 3.0, our tool, we have an intake form builder that you could just basically copy these prompts and build the form for you. Or if you're using a Google form or whatever, another, you know, this is basically gives you all the inputs that you would need. Um, and then again, references to how we came up with things. So going back to my example, let's go to our template generation. So if you were doing an intake form, you can also use this. I was just showing you how to do it straight in the prompt field. Now let's do an engagement letter. So I have a virtual CFO um, for dental practices. Give it a couple prompts, hit next. And TaxBuzz AI will start generating a response for you. That will draft the engagement letter for you, put in all the information on services, some scope of work. And again, this is just a starting point. If you have more or less services, you just edit from here, right? Um, but it will fill in the blanks for you. If you're using CountyWorks Pro 3.0 and our eSign tool, um, we have an automatic engagement letter uh, service that comes with it. You could just put this in or use one of our templates already. Um, but that's how easy it is. I'm going to show you the last use case here, the copy spinner. And this would be used to um, 
for example, let's say you have some old copy that you want to uh, rewrite. Uh, maybe it's not that well written. Uh, maybe you know you found you were inspired by someone else's copy and you wanted to rewrite it. Um, you know what what is the what what do we want to do with it? We want to make it engaging or informative. Uh, what's the tone? Let's say we want this one to be authoritative. Select a length, make it, keep it the same. So we'll try to keep it same or longer. What is my target audience? This is going to be for prospects. What are my key um, messages here? We'll just say higher education. And we'll do higher education as um, our keywords. So we just hit next. And now Taxpos AI will write the prompts for you. It will also um, make sure it says here, rem remember to avoid plagiarism. So we're telling it to spin the copy. We don't want, you know, if, if you were borrowing someone else's ideas, we want everything to be uh, rewritten completely uh, unique, right? We, want, we don't want duplicate content. And here it goes. It'll give us a subject. Um, if it, this was a letter or an email, what it would say and just kind of rips through it. If you were doing a blog article, you could have told it to be a blog article. If it's a service page, tell it it's a service page. That would give it some more context, uh, like, for example, an industry page, et cetera, right? And again, feel free to give us input on our content. So this is just the basics. Uh, our goal is to continue to add new templates um, a couple every week for the next basically three to four months. Uh, our next big one is going to be our tax planning strategy writer, where you can analyze a tax return or even a PDF of financial statements and give it some prompts and some inputs and write a full on personalized tax planning strategy for each client. It's going to be game changer. I hope you enjoy all our new technology. Continue to give all the feedback. We have over 28,000 registered users now. About 25% of you are using it often. Uh, we have over 7,000 of you that are in there quite a bit. Uh, so continue to give us feedback. We had some breakthroughs on some training. We're making things even more up to date. One item that I should add is um, when you're doing things for, let's say, uh, a tax year, and this is something I already wrote, but we don't have to wait for it, um, put in the years. Because a lot of times without that context, it's going to just pull from what is the most authoritative information, but obviously tax law changes. So I just said, hey, write me a, uh, an outline for a blog post. Um, here, you know, what would that look like? From this, you could even have it go into more detail, uh, but you get a general idea of how to use the tool by giving it a little more context. So again, hope you're enjoying TaxBuzz uh, AI. If you are new to the system and not registered, go to taxbuzz.com and you'll easily be able to register. If you already have an email, you may have been set up when you registered previously, uh, just hit reset password and you'll be able to get in there. Uh, again, thank you for being a customer of TaxBuzz and Counterworks, and we appreciate the business.